Greetings everyone, Mama Goddess here, and welcome back to my channel. This is Mama Goddess's Space. Thank you so much for joining me, and thank you for allowing me to be a part of your spiritual journey. This message is for the sign of Scorpio. So if you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this message is for you. Thank you for sharing this video. I appreciate it. Thank you all to the new subscribers that have been joining this channel. You all are amazing. Uh, Go ahead and like this video and hit that post notification bell button so you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. All right, Scorpio, let's get into it. What popped out for you already was the uh, four of knives as, as I was shuffling. Four represents grounding, manifestation, and stability. Knives represents thoughts and ideas. Um, for whatever reason, Spirit wants you to take a break, take a rest um, for you because uh, you you your mind is kind of all over the place right now and you're trying to figure out you know what is your next step what is a what is uh your next steps moving forward i i get the sense that that some of you are wanting to be entrepreneurs wanting to be business owners or maybe some of you are business owners and you're trying to figure out what the next step is in your business to help you elevate Maybe some of you are leaders or coaches, life coaches, uh, spiritual guides, or anything of that nature. You're trying to figure out, okay, what is my next step? What am I supposed to do? What 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 does the future look like for me? How am I supposed to handle this moving forward? But what really uh, Spirit wants you to do is to rest. With this eight of coins, this is where I'm seeing the, um, the business um, things for you. Or even some of you may be, um, you know, CEOs or bosses or managers or whatever the case may be. There's too much thought that is going into this, uh, Scorpio. Uh, Spirit wants you to just take a step back and reevaluate everything that is going on. You have the seven of knives. Seven represents uh, self-reflection, self-assessment and control. And knives represents thoughts and ideas. Take a step back, okay? And reevaluate um, what's going on around you, whether this is business, whether this is a relationship. Take a step back and see uh, in, in what areas that you need to improve in or what needs to be improved around you. In this time okay because um, I get the sense that um, with this five of sticks five represents change transformation and, and conflict and sticks represents power and authority I feel like this has to do with your your relationship so let let me get some clarifiers here to see what exactly this is for you Scorpio because you have this card that says karmic message or karmic relationship so I do get the sense that there is some type of relationship here that may be a uh, uh, cause for you to take a step back hi I feel like you had this before with this thank you <laughs> I feel like you had this uh, sense before and you had this card before with this karmic relationship where this relationship may be toxic for you Scorpio and spirit is telling you that you know take a step back and reevaluate this is this something that you want to do is this something that you want to have is this a uh, type of relationship that you really want to be in uh did you get into this relationship under false pretenses is this relationship um something that you can see yourself in long term okay with this five of sticks okay um you've been putting up a front for uh, for some time you know saying no, I, this is my person. I love her. I love him. This is the one for me. But then you have people in the background saying, I don't know if Scorpio should do this. I don't think they, I don't think they really like each other. You know, this little stuff like that that's happening in the background uh, concerning your relationship. And uh, yeah, I don't, I don't get the sense that this is what you really want. I feel like you kind of did this um, to not repeat a pattern. <laughs> uh, of your father with the father of Bassus that comes up for you I feel like you you're trying not to repeat a pattern you're trying not to be how your father was to you and trying to stay in you know the relationship and trying to make something work but this isn't really working um, so take a step back reevaluate you have this card that says courting and this is all about you know making a decision 
what is it do you want because right now scorpio you are not at peace um with this card that says message of peace um yeah you have this card that says fan fan the flames it says here doing what it takes to keep the passion alive renewal romance and care um you're trying to keep the passion alive so you're trying to fan the flames you're trying to you know make this thing work but is it really working for you okay is it really working for you um so make that decision you have this card that says rambling rose at the bottom of the deck it says uh growing apart or getting some space to think evolving and outsiders like i said there are people who are talking um and you know it could be like oh you know what they're just jealous that's why they are saying what they're saying but really i don't think it's a jealous thing i think people really want to protect you or protect the other person in the relationship not saying that you all are violent towards each other but because people care about you scorpio and what's best for you um but you're still trying to you know make it work you're trying to add the romance you're trying to do the dates and you're trying to uh you know make something happen that just isn't so again reevaluate it says um uh growing apart getting some space to think so really think about this scorpio is this something that you really want is this something that you feel like you can have long term okay this card here it says respect I want to read what respect has to say to you scorpio number 26 maybe number 26 is significant to you in some way shape form or fashion let's see number 26 then i'm going to read this from the aspect of your higher self what your higher self is saying to you it says respect yourself you are being subject to something at the moment Something unrelated to your needs and expectations is something beyond your limits, which is having a negative influence on your self-esteem. Please respect yourself. Dare to say no. Dare to listen to your needs and limits. At the moment, I am manifesting myself to you through emotions. I am making you feel strong emotions, but this is not to make you react. I want you to say no to situations that are toxic for you so you may create a new space of novelty and innovation. I invite you to leave something that isn't right for you. Listen to your emotions. Listen to me. Even you have negative feelings at first. Their message is more than positive. Trust in them. Trust in me. Again, trust your, your intuition. If it doesn't feel good, anymore if it doesn't sound good and i feel like you were just trying to make this good because you just wanted to prove yourself to yourself prove yourself to your father prove yourself to the naysayers that this is my person this is who i'm supposed to be with but really scorpio is it is this your person or was this just something to do you know, reevaluate this relationship. All right, Scorpio, you have this card that says guide um, with this guide card. It says everything that you need is already inside of you. The thing is, Scorpio, can you trust this individual? Can you trust this situation? Can you trust what you are looking at? If you answered no to any of those questions, then I again suggest you take some time step away look at the full picture for what it is instead of what you want it to be okay you deserve peace you deserve happiness you deserve to be with somebody who's going to love you for you you deserve to be with somebody who's going to help you build and elevate not keeping you in an energy of lateral moving you deserve to elevate you deserve to grow you deserve true and genuine love no more trauma bonds or no more getting in relationships because you all have um a common interest in sadness <laughs> and a common interest of hurt and a common interest of um hurts and past relationships you deserve to be with somebody who's going to help you grow and it's going to help you elevate you have this card that says player i don't know if maybe there had been some cheating involved from them it says socialite of charm elegance expert of romance leisurely life 
okay maybe there was some cheating involved like i said this relationship is toxic and you've seen the signs scorpio but you said oh i don't uh, i don't want to see that I'm, i don't think it's like that for real but don't be the fool don't be ignorant it says ignorant rashness impulsiveness um i feel like again you just kind of threw yourself into this relationship and said this is it and you went into it you know eyes wide open <laughs> or eyes wide shut you know however you want to perceive that to be but uh wake up okay um this card that says carest it says dreamer of grand schemes vision cunning aspirations um i feel like you know somebody has some ulterior motives in this relationship for you where you thought it was going to be one way and then they showed themselves to be something totally different so uh scorpio you're going to have to come out of this, okay? What other messages do you have for Scorpio as far as their money is concerned? Moving on to your money, because like I said, there are some of you who are um, business owners who want to um, elevate, who are some type of leader in some way. So let's see how this is affecting your money. My ear is ringing. I feel like there is a message for you. Scorpio spirituality it says uh, use money <laughs> magical spells to increase wealth and prosperity spiritual advisor healer tarot reader or anything in the occult you're being guided to discover your unique path right now like I said some of you are leaders some of you are life coaches some of you may be tarot readers Maybe some of you out there are uh, spiritualists and you are doing the things and this relationship can be a hindrance to your spiritual growth. Some of you may be um, somebody who's in the church, <laughs> but I feel like you're really spiritually connected in this time and this relationship could be a hindrance to your spiritual growth. All right. What other messages do you have for, Sag uh, excuse me, not Sagittarius. I just got done with Sagittarius reading. And maybe you have Sagittarius in your chart. And if you do, go watch the Sagittarius reading. Because I said it for a reason. But Scorpio, uh, it says here, designer. Maybe some of you are in the fashion world as well. It says you're being called to tune into your individuality and, and express yourself. A career in fashion, uh, art, or anything artistic endeavor could be the right job for you. Be creative with your finances. Perhaps it's time to discover a new talent. Again, with the uh, eight of coins, whatever it is that you do, uh, learn that craft, learn um, the ins and outs of how to do this, this thing, this idea that spirit has given you. But everything that spirit is given to you is spirit led. So be guided by spirit. And then you have this card that says work smart. OK, I am a fan of working smart and not hard. All right. It says you are making it harder than it. Ha are you making it harder than it has to be? Sometimes the solutions are simple. Like I said, you don't want this relationship to be a hindrance for you. You trying to make things work and trying to make life better for yourself while also trying to um, uh get into your entrepreneurship bag or trying to uh, elevate in your job position. You worried about this, this relationship is only going to distract you even, even the more. Okay. It says perhaps it's time to clean house personally and professionally, professionally to start with a clean palette, stick to the basics, stick to basic needs when it comes to spending and put some money aside. Some of you could be uh, spending money on the wrong thing. You need to be investing in yourself in this time. Okay. So make sure you are saving the money. But again, as long as you're in this, this relationship, you're going to hold up your, your blessings and hold up the things that you could be uh, doing in your life. Okay. As far as uh, making money is concerned, that is your message Scorpio. I hope that resonated with you. Leave me a comment and let me know how you feel and let me know how you healing. All right, Scorpio. Thank you again for sharing this video, sharing my content. You all are amazing. Go ahead and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and uh, hit that post notification bell button so you are notified each and every time I upload a new video. And if you haven't heard it today, that butterfly just passed. <laughs> if you haven't heard it today, know that I love you. You are loved. You are worthy and you are worth it. 
that butterfly is talking about transformation. That butterflies are all about growth and transformation. So Scorpio, it's time for you to grow. It's time for you to transform. All right. Y'all take care. Peace.